Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, may Allah bless you all. Uh, a brother sent me a screenshot from Charlie Hebdo magazine. You know the French Charlie Hebdo magazine, or let me call it Charlie Satan magazine. And you know the history of this uh, Satan magazine, who Allah has exposed them. I mean, no one respects this uh, Satan magazine except someone who is ignorant of the history of this evil magazine or someone who is devil himself, evil himself. So anyway, subhanAllah, after they quote and quote tried to mock Prophet Muhammad, salam, rather they were mocking themselves, alhamdulillah. They cannot mock Prophet Muhammad, salam. you're not even allowed to speak, to give an opinion concerning his sandu. Let alone uh, try to speak about him. When the Lord, the creator of everything, praised him, honored him, he took out billions of people from true darkness in true light, into the true light, and from true backwardness into the true civilization. Not this crazy civilization, a monkey and a chicken, a donkey, human beings all like the same. Human, a man wakes up if he gets a donkey. Donkey wakes up because a monkey. I mean, I mean, even the animals. To be honest, let us give animals their right. Animals don't feel like that. To be honest, just these nonsensical human beings, this uh, the disturbed human beings feel like that. Allah salamu alaikum. Anyway, it's what time to speak out. And Hamza, we did speak out, defending the honor of Mustafa as well. But this Charlie Satan, Charlie Hebdo, sorry, or Satan. There's no sorry, Satan. Uh, Subhanallah mocked. The victims of the earthquake in Turkey and Syria. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have mercy upon those who have passed away in Syria and Turkey and uh, Lebanon and everywhere else that were affected by the earthquake. And of course, the earthquake is a sign from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a warning or as expiation. Those who, who, who die in the earthquake, they will be in Jannah, inshallah ta'ala, you know. If the, if the Muslim they will be in Jannah, Allahu Akbar. Because Prophet Muhammad والسلام, mentioned about the one who dies uh, uh, similar to earthquake, then he's a shaheed, inshallah ta'ala. That's what we hope, inshallah ta'ala. And may Allah subhanahu wa give patience and uh, uh, speed recovery to those who are suffering. Allahumma ameen. And this supplication, not just for the Muslims, even the non Muslims, we ask Allah to aid them. Those who have been suffering with this earthquake, because Islam teach us to show mercy to Muslims and non-Muslims. Alhamdulillah. Anyway, Charlie Satan, I mean Charlie Abdo, they mock the victims of the earthquake. Imagine they 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 mock the victim of the French uh, uh, earthquake. The French government will go crazy. I mean, this president of the French uh, uh, of France. Alhamdulillah, Allah is humiliating him. How many times he gets slapped? He gets humiliated. And that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned. Inna shani'aka huwa al-abtar. Oh Muhammad, your enemy will be cut off. Allahu Akbar. Inna rafa'na laka dhikrak. We have raised your name. Anyone that follow Prophet Muhammad s.a.w. Allah will raise him. Anyone that oppose Prophet Muhammad s.a.w. Allah will degrade him. Allahu Akbar. Anyway, they, subhanAllah, look how they're mocking the victims of... Where everywhere around the world, you see people coming together, Muslims and non-Muslims, trying to help. And you see Charlie Abdo mocking, or Charlie Satan. That's why anyone that tries to defend or support this magazine, either you are ignorant of their history, or you are, yourself you are a Satan, evil doer. But alhamdulillah, that's why you know in a time of hardship, time of trials and tribulations, then in many, many wisdoms, Allah will uh, uh, show us through the signs. That's why there's some act of worship and some tests and tribulations will never occur except by way of this natural disaster, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala caused as a warning, either as a mercy for people who die, go to paradise, or as uh, expiations, as a punishment, you know. Barakallahu uh, fikum. So, no other time is a punishment. We should know that we, uh, sometimes it could be punishment. You know, it could be uh, a, a test. You know, Allah testing the people. Likewise, to expose the evildoers 
and the liars and the hypocrites. Alhamdulillah. So, uh, uh, my dear brothers and sisters, again, the Satan magazine strike again by mocking people in a time of hardship, subhanAllah. People lost their families, their children, their, their, their wealth, subhanAllah. So, you know, subhanAllah, alhamdulillah, like I said, alhamdulillah, we as a Muslims, we say alhamdulillah all the times, in ease or in a hardship, alhamdulillah. Prophet Muhammad, alayhi salatu wasalam, he got kicked out from, he was besieged in one of the valleys of Mecca, besieged for three years. And remember, Allah has chosen him as a messenger of Allah. And they, it's not just they, they had no food to eat. Children, they had not, nothing to eat. But this, Allah, Allah, this life is full of tests. Allah told us already in the Quran, Allah will test us in a way. And see, people say, when Allah's victory will come. But indeed, Allah's victory is soon. It is near. And we know that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put the person that a Muslim who suffered all his life, all his life went through hardship. When they put him in Jannah and they will ask him also oh, and so, have you ever tasted or went through any hardship? He said, me, never. Allahu Akbar. That's why this life we live in is nothing in comparison to the hayat, the Jannah, the life of, of Jannah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us people of Jannah to Firdaus. Allahumma ameen. Also, Prophet Muhammad والسلام, told us, when the people will see the reward of those who Allah has tried them and test them and, and they were patient, they will say, we wish all our life just was full of tests and trials and tribulations. But because we don't see the reward of these trials and tribulations, be patient upon it, that's why we straight and start playing with our mind. That's why we need strong iman. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us strong iman, you know. And wallahi, we learn. We learn from our brothers and sisters in Syria, in Turkey, you know, the strong iman that they have and they're, how they're dealing with it. Why we're living in comfort and subhanAllah. That's Allah, salamu wa al-afiyah for dunya wa akhirah So alhamdulillah, our brothers in Sisi Da'wah, they are raising money to help our brothers and sisters in Turkey, in Syria and other places that were affected by earthquake. So this is the dunya, you know, just to read the story of the prophets and messengers, how Allah tests them. How Allah put him in trials and tribulations. May Allah bless you all. Wa sallallahu nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sallam salimaan kathira.